Hey Toolerinos, I just uh, had a nice tool haul down at the flea market of Kidron, Ohio. And uh, it's going to be a two-parter because there's just too much. So uh, let's get started. First uh, is a big item. I got this brand new Dayton motor. Uh, $20. It was essentially new in box, but the box had, uh, had collapsed or crumbled, so... It's never been installed on anything, and uh, for 20 bucks I couldn't pass it up. Next is a really neat old brass or copper bodied flashlight. It says Rayovac, made in USA. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a miner's flashlight because it's brass and rubber, so it will be non-sparking, but uh, it actually works. It has a little switch lock. You push the button and then you can switch it up. And it works uh, and it has like decent batteries in it It was only five dollars and D size energizers are five dollars so the flashlight was free I think <laughs> so that was a great deal probably the best deal of the day and then I got this really long bar clamp um, it doesn't have any notches at the end so I'm assuming this is for some sort of fixture for furniture making in a factory of some kind but um, it says Chicago, Illinois on the one side, and on the other side it says uh, Handy Manufacturing Company. So that's cool. Uh, next item is a little uh, hand grinder. It's missing the tool rest, but I could make one for that. It is uh, fully operational. It was tag 12, but I uh, only gave 10 for it. It needs a new stone. And it seemed like a nice little uh, easy to fix up project. Take it apart and, and repaint it and everything. So it was just neat, cute little grinder. And here I found this nice pipe wrench. Um, it's in really good shape. And the reason I was really drawn to it um, was that it's electrolyte from Defiance, Ohio. So I recently got Electrolyte Tire Spoon and I didn't realize it was made in Ohio. So once I saw that I just kind of felt like I had to have it. I don't know why you feel like this, but there you have it. Uh, next thing, this looks like a tap wrench and it looks um, hand forged or handmade. There's faceting all along the handles and it just seems, you know, definitely wasn't turned on a lathe or anything, so I think this is a homemade or blacksmith made tap handle. So, that was cool. Uh, next item is a NOS Made in USA tool steel. I don't really need any more of these, but uh, anytime you find something NOS, and it, they were, he was practically giving away the small items. Um, you know, like 50 cents or quarter uh, in value, so I, I just couldn't pass it up. Next item was just a nice little chuck um, that I could use to restore some other tool. It's functional, so I picked that up. And these I thought looked cool. I didn't really t look too closely at them when I got them because everything was so cheap. But it says uh, Gilded Age Rustless. And uh, so it's got these stainless steel blades. One of them's bent and it needs a little, little attention to get that rivet squished back and keep that together. But um, and I flipped it over after I got it home and it says made by Richards of Sheffield, England. So woohoo! I know the guys from England won't think much of that, but uh, that makes it a special item for me because I don't get too much made in England stuff here. Uh, next item, uh, again, it's probably something I may never have a use for, but it is an Apex screwdriver from Dayton, Ohio, a number four Phillips. And, you know, how often do you need a number four Phillips? Almost never, but I didn't have one, so... Again, it was cheap, and it was made in Ohio, so I got it. Next item is... Uh, it looks like somebody took a tent peg or something and brazed a chisel to it to make a really long chisel. And they did a really good job. It is straight as an arrow. 
and uh, I just thought someone did such a fine job on that I'm gonna clean it up and at least make a wall hanger out of it if I don't ever have a use for it so be it but uh, it's cool and the next item is a screwdriver a ratcheting screwdriver and I tested it it still ratchets both ways and locks in the middle it's just got this really big wood handle on it so lots of leverage I haven't been able to see any markings on it yet but I haven't really cleaned it up so uh, this needs some cleanup and, and, and inspection but it seemed like a nice cleanup project next item is this pocket knife it says uh, TL-29 and it's very solidly made with a brass lock and these bolsters here are solid they're not just the tin plate and it has brass rivets and a lanyard ring there it says Camelus New York Let's see if I can get it in there so I've never heard of that brand before but um, it seems very well made it needs cleaned up it's a little stiff uh, it has one big blade that's been sharpened but not necessarily in a great way and then it has another blade that's straight with a screwdriver tip and that's what the lock engages so I thought it was too interesting to pass up three dollars I paid up for that and the last item in this uh, first segment of the tool haul is this uh, the tool guy told me this was a saw set and it says uh, a. Stillman's patent 1848 so a really old patented tool I don't know exactly what year this would have been made um, but I suspect it's e easily a hundred years old and uh, I honestly am not sure how to go about using this as a saw set I'm hoping that I can find the patent and uh, it will explain it or the diagrams will explain it so if I can find the patent, I will show you the patent.